Welcome back to part two, the burglar alarm. That really is a childhood dream, and today it's as easy as Lego. You need a PIR um, motion detector, parallax compatible if you can, and need to hook it up the way it's shown here. Uh, the other thing you need is a terminal program that makes it a little easier to upload the Lua files to the microcontroller. Uh, here's a good one. And uh, if you look for Insta Perimeter on um, GitHub, you'll find my project and can download all the files. If you put them on your Raspberry Pi, make sure that you got the log directory writable. Otherwise, it won't work. And of course, the uh, PHP files would have to be executable. First thing first, you got to hook this up to your Wi-Fi network. I prepared a Wi-Fi setup.lua file and you of course have to add your own um, SSID and password. You see, it's connected here. One major change we have to make is we have to change the GPIO from 0 to 2. Otherwise, and that's a bad trap, otherwise the module will uh, go into firmware upgrade mode every time you reboot the, uh, the module and that's um, not what you want. So if you've been following along all you have to do is move the brown cable a bit closer to the, um, the negative wire to the ground wire and that's all there is to do on the hardware side if you've been following along. Next thing you gotta upload is the alarm file alarm.lua also something you have to modify a bit because you have to put in the IP address of your web server. Uploading that does take a little time. If you're running a virtual host on Apache you also have to specify the virtual host otherwise the web server won't know from the IP address which of the virtual hosts you mean. But you'll see that in the source code and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, it's been uploaded and to start it we just say do file. Got an alarm here, motion's been detected. It's been cleared and it goes away on the on the map of course. Okay, well we want it to start up automatically every time we power up the ESP. Um, so we do a init.lua file that has nothing in it but a do file alarm.lua, which does, well, on startup, nothing but start our alarm.lua file. Upload that to your microcontroller. You can see it up there. The first file actually is my private home uh, configuration. Okay, and now we can cycle the power and see if it comes up properly. And you see it's already opening a connection, giving a status to the web server. And if I wave my hand in front of the sensor, it's giving the alarm. And if I stop doing that, it's going back to clear. If you want to stop the execution, click on this timer stop thing because it's timer activated as, as you will see in the source code in a second. That is the source code. You can set several sensor IDs to distinguish between different sensors on the, on the ESP. That's just a plain text for the status. That sets um, GPIO2 uh, to, as an input pin. And this is um, what makes the thing ticked. It uh, runs this, um, this bit of code down here once a second. And if the state of the GPIO2 pin changes, it's gonna call these uh, functions further down. This one, which sends the alarm status 
to the web server. What it actually does is it only sends changes. So to conserve battery power, if you're running on batteries, it only sends state changes. It does not send um, the status every second. In the line above this one, you see uh, you have to put in your IP address. And here you can see that it calls the PLM.php on the server. If you're running virtual hosts, you see this vhost.domain. We've got to change this as well. So on the, on the Raspberry side, the code is rather simple because all it does is it takes these two variables you, you just passed with the, with the parameters of the PHP program, open the log file, and write those two parameters to it. Then close the log file. And that really is all there is to it. So this program really does not scale well. Uh, it'd be better to put a database behind it or um, several log files or I don't know. And this is the other thing. That's what is what your client calls to give you that nice map view. Got the usual header and the body is created by PHP code as well. So we have a look at the log file, read the data from the log file, split it at the comma. So we get our sensor ID and sensor status. If the sensor status is clear, set the green light. Otherwise, um, set the red light to the variable and put that variable in this in in the map further down that's just the the text above the map that division here is the text it uses a, a floor plan as a backdrop i got that from wikipedia hope they don't mind and this actually shows the status the last one really is just a dummy well and that is all there is to it nothing more nothing less rather simple really so if i wave my hand in front of the sensor I get the alarm. If I stop doing that, it goes back to clear. Wavy, wavy again. Well, I could do that all day. That's fun, really. As mentioned, I would like to run that from a battery. Currently, the average power consumption is 14 milliamps. That's a bit on the high side still, so I got to think of something. 